Yeah, so being the final girl, it comes with a price. Losing my friends. But on the plus side, I'm now famous. I survived the tragic horrors at Camp Crystal Lake. Mr. Digi, sir, it's been one month since the tragedy, and life seems to have improved for you over time. Have you no shame about your friends perishing? Ah, ah, no help! Someone! Is this about to be six? Oh. I miss them very much. Tyser and Kay were close friends of mine, but life goes on, and it's all about survival. No, oh, Jack! No! No! Chad, open this door quick! He's here! Ah! Wait! No! I'm just ready to die! Ah! Ah! Oh, ah! No, 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 no! <coughs> this is the end of Ross. But is it true that you just stood by and watched as Jason attacked and killed Tyser? Oh, please! Ah! We did it! We stopped Jason! Even if we died trying to... How... How did you know about that? <laughs> My team and I have been investigating these brutal murders for the past month. We've done our research. I'll take that as a yes. Look, don't do this. Please! Don't go into detail. I tried my best. I really did. But what if Jason never died? What if he is still out there? They uncovered his body at the lake. It was all over the news. Now leave me alone. Ugh, why did I have to put myself in the light during all this? I need to focus on moving on. I could have done more to save my friends. I need a vacation. I'm even talking to myself! Hello? Reporters? I'll call the cops if you try to break into my home. Must have been my imagination. Alright. That does it. I'm going on vacation. It's been a month already, and I keep saying yes to every interview. I should have done what Gizzy did and go into hiding. Jason? Ah! How are you? You're alive? I recognize that smell anywhere. You, you were dead. At the bottom of the lake. They found a body. Ah! I felt things up. Help! Ah! After discovering the body of Jason, the camp has been reopened by a new owner named Jerome, and he welcomes everyone to the grand opening this Saturday. My name is Afmal, it's Thursday the 12th, and we will be at the grand opening to continue reporting. Over to you, John. Must be my new counselors. entire bus the entire journey eh, what can i say don't touch the bus pastas i'm gonna run to the bathroom hello campers hello and goodbye it's for the best he wasn't doing too good yeah 
He stunk the bus out the entire journey. I'm surrounded by tweebs. Does anyone want my Nintendo Switch friend code? I only have three friends and uh, one of them is my mom. Well, hello and welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. I'm the new owner of this property and you can call me Jerome. And no, I did not buy the lake to launder money like the previous owner. I bought it as an investment. Millions of people would come and visit this camp. You'd be a fool not to purchase. Yeah, we're all horror fanatics. Myself, Caveman, Leah, Zylo are all in the same club together. When we heard you were letting people sign up for a job, we all jumped for the opportunity. Ooh, I want to go see where the chef died. Hey, wait up! You all came to work here just because a bunch of people died here? Wait, why do I care? I'm just glad you signed up. Anyone else interested in a tour? Can I take photos? Uh, the last camp owner wouldn't let people use their phones, but I don't care. Take as many photos as you like. Great! I'm an influencer. I have 3,000 followers on Instagram. My aesthetic, dramatic lighting. I'm going to become a star! Oh, please! The only stars you'll be seeing is when I smack your face and they'll appear above your head. This isn't a cartoon. That won't happen. And if you lay a finger on me, I'll call the cops. Anyways, I'll catch up later. I have a phone call to make. The signal here is pretty spotty. A huge hit and a miss, so good luck. Also, we don't have a chef. We'll be Uber eating everything. If you need to call on your phone, the best signal is in the parking lot. Okay, let's go. Now, um, I'm at the camp, and it turns out that most of the campers here are crazy horror freaks. I'll need a cover, so I'll pretend that I'm one of them too. But I'm only here to sneak you in so you can grab some great shots before the opening ceremony. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm your only cousin. That's why I'm the best. You better get me that job at your office after this. Because I really don't want to be here. I have to pretend to be a horror freak until the grand opening. Uh... I gotta go, but remember the plan. Oh, hey, I didn't realize there was a security guard. Well, when there's been a mass murder a month ago at this camp, of course the new owner is going to hire out security this time. We got to keep away anyone trying to sneak in. And I mean anyone, especially reporters. We can't have those annoying reporters sneaking in. There's already been three this week. And don't even get me started on the pranksters. We've had to arrest three Jason cosplayers this week. The grand opening is really drawing in the crazies. Right. Anyways, I gotta catch up with the others. Ugh, no signal. Jerome was right. It really is hit or miss. I hope I can speak to Afmao and sneak her in without that guard catching her. After discovering the body of Jason, the camp has been reopened by a new owner named Jerome, and he welcomes everyone to the grand opening this Saturday. They're reopening the camp? No, this is a terrible idea. Well, I guess he's dead, but I need to make sure that he's dead. Uh, I'm gonna call the doctor, just to confirm. I've been freaking out for the past month about everything that's happened. I watched my friends die, and I can't relax until... <sighs> okay, I just need the confirmation of the doctor again to tell me that, uh, Jason's dead. So, uh, I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll call, uh, Shelby. Uh... <clears throat> Shelby! Hey, um... Listen, I just wanted to check, and I know, I've been bugging you for this for so long, but please can you just give me confirmation that Jason's dead? Look, they're reopening the camp. You gotta tell me, the post-mortem. You haven't told me. I need confirmation from you. <sighs> I could lose my job for this, but fine. If it'll put you at peace, Jason's body was cremated. She's dead. We found her body washed up like you said, and we cremated her. Wait, I, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. She... Jason was a boy. What do you mean she? She was cremated? No, J Jason's a guy. J hence, Jason's a name of, you know, a guy. Jason. No. Jason was a girl. You said you drowned Jason, and that was the only body we found that drowned. We thought it was weird she had a boy's name, but it's very progressive, and I respect a girl having a boy's name. Turns out lots of boys are called Shelby, too. But Jason was even wearing the mask. Oh, please! Ah! I can't swim! Um... Kay! Shelby, you've... You've cremated Kay. 
Kay drowned and was wearing the mask and you found her body and cremated her. Which means Jason is... Jason is still out there. Shelby, you got it wrong. You got it wrong, Shelby. What? Jason is alive? I got the report wrong. I'll lose my job for this. Nobody can know. I need to go to the camp and fix this. No, 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 wait, what? No, don't go to the camp. Don't, Shelby, Shelby, Shelby. Hello? Shelby! Jason is alive. They got the wrong body. Oh, oh no, what do I do? What do I, I got a one digi. Digi, tomorrow's Friday the 13th, and I gotta get back to the camp. I gotta stop them reopening the camp before anyone else dies. Jason is alive. I got a one digi. Digi, pick up. Pick up, Digi. Come on! Digi. Digi, Digi, Digi. It's Gizzy. Hello? Can you hear me? Look, I don't have time for this, okay? Just, if you can hear me, listen. Jason is alive, and they're reopening the camp. I gotta get back to the camp. I hope you can meet me. We gotta stop them. We have to warn them before they die. Before Jason kills them. I'm gonna head to the camp, and I hope to see you there. If you can hear me. Okay, I gotta warn the others. Hold on! I'm coming! Oh god, I can't even go back to Camp Crystal Lake. I gotta get to my car, open the garage. Okay, and lock. Oof, this is, uh... Can't believe I'm back here. It's a lot. It's a lot of emotions. I just want to get in and get out and warn everybody. And just get out, got my car. I, I bought my own vehicle this time so I can get in and out. Hey, excuse me, sir. This camp is closed until tomorrow. You can't be here tonight. Uh, hey, uh, officer. It's Saber. Officer Saber. Now please leave and return tomorrow for the grand opening. Oh, I'm not here for that. I'm, uh, you know, I don't have time for this. Hey, get back here. Uh, is this, I guess the, yeah, hey, excuse me, excuse me. Sir, I am so sorry. He walked straight past me and came in here. Oh, it's quite all right. Uh, kid? What are you doing here? Listen, you're in big trouble, okay? Jason is alive! Wait, I recognize you. You're Gizzy. You survived the murders last month. What are you doing here now? You're being ridiculous if you think Jason's alive. No, you gotta believe me. I, The doctor who was examining his body got it wrong. It was the wrong person. Jason's body was never uncovered. He's probably still alive. He's most likely still alive. I'm here to warn you. This sounds exactly like survivor's guilt, and you're going crazy. They found his body. He's dead. There's no way doctors got it wrong. Yeah, I'm telling the truth. It happened. You gotta believe me. It happened. Saber, arrest this man for trespassing. Put him in my office for now until we figure out what to do with him. Wait, what? No. So, ow. Get in there. No, ow. Dude, no. Uh, sir, open this door. You got it all wrong. Jason is alive. Ah! Oh God, how do I, what do I, I'm, I'm locked in the office. Oh no, 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 no. This is so bad. Help. Jason's alive. You got to believe me. You can't just arrest me like this. Ugh. Ugh. Come on, please. You got to let me out before Jason gets here. Oh, he might already be here. You're all in trouble. Let me out! Where's everyone else? Murdered by Jason! <laughs> They're exploring other places in the camp. We ran off to see the murder sites. This was the famous pier where it all happened. According to Digi's interviews, this was where Jason drowned Kay and also attacked Donnie. But something doesn't add up. I mean, he also said Jason was afraid of water, but why would he so carelessly climb into the water numerous times? What if water was never his weakness? What if Jason was never afraid of the water? He's lived at this camp for 40 years. He must have had time to get over his fear of water and learn how to swim. Well, we'll never know now that he's dead. Come on, there's something I want to see.
Dizzy arriving like this is not good timing. I need to make sure he doesn't ruin anything. Saying Jason's alive will scare away the crowd. We can't let that happen. Even if that means I need to take drastic actions. Lizzie's gun washed up on shore without anyone finding it. I should keep a hold of this. Just in case Gizzy tries to do anything stupid. I won't let him ruin this for me. Ah! Oh, ah! Sir, please do not arrest me. This is- you're making a big mistake. Please, I'm begging you, just please, you gotta let me go. I don't think so, kid. You're trespassing and clearly insane. There's no way Jason is alive. Uh, what's going on? Can I take a photo of this? Kids, get out of here. This isn't good timing. Isn't that Gizzy, the survivor? Uh, guys, you gotta get out of here, okay? This is not- Jason's alive. Jason is alive. Run! 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 This is your chance to get out of here! The survivor is going crazy. Let me take some photos of this. No, dude, stop taking- Dude, is that Snapchat? Dude, oh, is that, is that Instagram? How many followers you got? I have 3,000 Instagram followers. I really want to be an Instagram influencer, and I'm really excited about it. Dude, good luck. Yeah, like, that's power to you. I respect that. Um, can you follow me? Sorry, I only follow friends. No, that's fine. That's- um, That's- oh, Whatever, like, whatever. That's cool. Listen! 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 Okay? You guys gotta get out of here, okay? This is... I'm telling the truth. The doctors got it wrong. Doctors don't want to get this kind of stuff wrong, Gizzy. Someone's death? How can they get that wrong? They had the wrong body. You gotta believe me, okay? Alright, we're gonna get this guy out of here because he's clearly lost his mind due to guilt. But I can't just take you away now when Jerome isn't here. He's been a while now, so I'm sure he'll be here soon. Jerome, what you say that Jerome ran off by himself? He's probably dead by now. That's how it works. That's how they get you. Jason targets you one by one if you're by yourself until the very end, and then he chases you all at once. But do not, oh my God, why would no one believe me? Wow, survivor's guilt is a real thing. Now I know. It's not survivor's guilt. I mean, yes, I'm sad that some of my friends have died, but it's not that. Look, I actually had confirmation from the doctor saying that she got it wrong. Please, and I came here to warn you guys that Jason could still be alive and you need to get out of here. Oh no, sorry. If a dead body suddenly appears, then sure, I'll run away. If a dead body shows up, then it's too late. <laughs> Why won't no one believe me? Wait, is it? Do I hear? It can't be. Gizzy, that's so cool. You're here. Can I get an autograph? Also, where's Digi? Did Jerome plan this for the grand opening? Actually, no. This guy was trespassing and he's under arrest. Wait, Gizzy has lost his mind because of survivor's guilt? No way! Why won't anyone listen to me? Hello? Am I am I muted? Hi. Hello? Anyone hear me? Hello? What is what is it? Stop taking photos! Listen! You guys are in trouble. I'm here because Jason's back. If Jason was alive, wouldn't someone be dead by now? Nobody has seen him. What's going on? Hello? Wait, is that Gizzy? I recognize you from the news. Why are you here? Is this for the grand opening? Why do people keep saying that? No, I'm back because Jason's alive! Silo, was this one of your pranks? I didn't know about this. This should have been prank 101. And to think I packed a Jason outfit too. I even packed fake blood. Would you guys, like, seriously, this is a prop, we ha why? Hello, this is the, the time for me to tell you all. Jason is alive. Run, leave, get out of here. Uh, so, Saber, what's your plan? We can't take him to the police station until Jerome gets back to keep an eye on you guys. And you wouldn't have a guard. What? We'll be fine, right guys? Maybe not Zylo, since he's mentally like 10 years old, but... Hey! I mean, you're not wrong, but but I take offense to that. I'm gonna prank you so good tonight. Sure. Listen, Saber, we'll be fine on our own. Just take Gizzy to the police station. Jerome will be back any minute now. Are you guys... It, you're seriously taking the one person who can keep you safe away from camp with the other guy who knows that Jason is alive, and you guys are gonna be... I'm just surrounded by more... I gotta hit my head. <laughs> Ow! Is this a dream? This is real. Okay. All right, kid. Let's go to my car. Ash is right. They'll be fine on their own for a little while. Let's go. Oh, wait, the cockies. Uh, you! You look smart! You take the key! 
Okay, you're going to give me your car? That's kind of weird. Just just in case something happens, you said if you see a dead body, you're going to run. So, if you if anything happens, literally if anyone goes missing, anything suspicious, any red flags, take my car, get as many as you can, and get out of here. So, does this mean we're friends? Can I have your friend code? Dude, what? Yeah, you know what? If you survive this and you return my car, I'll, I'll happily give you my Nintendo friend code. You hear that, Mom? I made a friend. Uh, okay, let's save it. Let's let's go. Okay, just listen to me. Just just be careful. Think like Mifsan. You guys are like horror fanatics. You know Mifsan? Yes, he was iconic. Just think like him, okay? Goodbye. Hey, aren't we missing a counselor? Where is Tapple? My friend, Spifey. He was killed here. He didn't even want to come here. He was forced to by Chad. I hate Chad. I'm glad he's dead. He's responsible for my friend's death. I only came here to pay respects to Spifey. Now, I could leave. This was the place. This was where Mythzan died. Our great horror expert, betrayed by his own campers. Digi said in the interview that Gizzy left him in the cabin when he went to the dock. He should have gone back for him. Don't even get me started on Ross. I'm just thankful Gizzy's been arrested. He's partly to blame for Mythsan's death. <sighs> Rest easy, best horror expert. Rest easy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it. Oh no, poor Mythsan. We'll miss you very much. What? All right, cut the crap. Why are you here? What? I'm a horror freak? Yeah, totally. Just like you guys. No. Myself, Caveman, Leah, and Xylo are the horror freaks. I mean, fanatics. You're pretending to be. Why? Scott is here to take photos. Tapel is here because, uh, not really sure why exactly. But why are you here? A mass murder happened here, and you have no motive to be here. As much as I love some tea, I'm gonna go take some photos. I swear I love horror. I heard about Jason and the camp and I really just wanted to be a part of the action. You even sound like a fake. Faker. Hashtag faker playmaker. Uh, hey, why don't I order some pizzas? Look, dinner on me tonight. Eh, don't change the subject. Ooh, pizza! Order pizza! I don't trust her one bit. Where did Jerome go? Shouldn't there be an adult keeping an eye on us? I'll see if I can go find him. Does anyone want to play Smash? Come on, there's gotta be a signal somewhere. There's gotta be a signal somewhere. Psst! Hey cousin, is the coast clear? Afmo, yes, you made it! Yeah, the security guard left to take Gizzy back to the police station. That'll be a good scoop for you. The survivor that came back! Gizzy? The survivor was here? I've been trying to get an interview with him for ages. You should have kept him here! Why was he here? He said something about Jason being alive, but that's impossible, right? Absolutely! There's no way Jason would have survived being underwater for that long. And the body was uncovered by the lake. This is all public knowledge. We may not have the survivor, but let's take advantage of the camp, before the guards return. The other counselors are getting suspicious about why I'm here. They solved their my alibi. I think we should stay in an empty cabin for now. The only other girl is Leah, and I think she'll be fine on her own. Jerome? Hello? Huh, a gun? Why, it's Lizzie's gun! This is the real gun Lizzie used? I guess the police never found it. Oh, this is so exciting. I need to return to the others to show them. Uh, I wish Jason wasn't dead. I would have died to meet him. Saber, why have we stopped? Can't you just leave me in the car? Like, why am I out here as well? I don't trust your greasy paws in my vehicle. I just need to pay my gas and grab me some snacks. Then we can get going. Uh, fine. Can I get some snacks too? Absolutely not. You're going to jail. Oh my gosh. Fine. I'll just wait here. Just hurry up, please. I just want to get this night over and done with. Wait, what's up? In today's news, one of the Camp Crystal Lake survivors was found murdered in his home this morning. 
looks like a home invasion last night and they roasted him on an open fire. And it's not even Christmas. More on this at six. Did, did, did she's, did she's dead? Uh, did she? Wow, that's boring. Anyways, I'm gonna pay for this. Okay. Uh, oh my God, I can't believe it. Digi's, which means, oh wait, I spoke to him on the phone yesterday, but he died yesterday? I, wait, unless I spoke to, unless that was Jason who answered the phone, and I told him that I was coming to the camp, which means he's already here. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Come on, Gizzy. It's time to go. Uh, can I use the bathroom before we go? <sighs> fine. Hello, can I get the bathroom key? Oh no, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I gotta... Oh! Giz... Uh... Hello, stranger who I do not know. <clears throat> I'm just getting some snacks. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna get some snacks over here too. I said no snacks for you, Gizzy. Go find the bathroom. Okay, fine. Shelby, what are you doing here? Gizzy, what are you doing here? Well, I told you I was coming here to stop Jason. And I told you to stay away. Remember on the phone? But it's my fault that Jason is still at large because I got the results wrong. If I knew from the beginning there would be a huge manhunt after him, why are you with the police officer? Well, I was trespassing and they caught me and then taking me to jail. You gotta help me, Shelby. You gotta get me out of here. Hmm. We could cause a diversion. But if we do that, we might not be able to get to my car. Okay, well, we can run off. We can run back to the camp, by, uh, like on foot. There's no way Jason's out here. He's probably still at the camp. So we can run back on foot. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Saber's gonna run back to the camp. Well, he was, he's gonna drive back to the camp. So, we have to be fast. Okay, I'll cause a diversion. One second. Okay, you, um, what's your plan? Uh, I couldn't find the bathroom. Nah, Jason's outside, help! What? Everybody stay inside! Ma'am, get back inside! Where are you, Jason? I'll get you! Did you go over this way? I'm not afraid of you! Shelby, this is a chance, come on. Where is he? I don't see Jason. Shelby, quick, run. <sighs> Fine, I'm going back inside. Wait, where's Gizzy? No, you escaped! I'm such a fool! No matter, I know where you're going. Back to the camp, and I'll beat you back via my car. See you soon, Gizzy. Oh God. Shelby, let's go. Come on, quick, we have to stop running. We can get my car now. You're an accomplice to helping me escape prison now. We can't just go back to the security cameras and everything. If we go back and see you get in the car with me, then you might get arrested too. As of right now, it just seems like I ran away by myself. So let's just get back to the camp and save the others before it's too late. It's gonna be a while, it's gonna be a long walk, so I hope uh, we get back in time and save them because Jason is alive. And my friend, Digi, the survivor with me, he's dead. Which means Jason's coming after the survivors, which means he might be coming after me. Are you sure you wanna be part of this? Cause you can get in the car and go. I can't, I'm responsible. I need to help. Okay. Well, let's, let's get moving. Let's go. You know how long a taxi would take to get here? You're leaving? Yeah, I'm done here. I only wanted to pay my respects to a friend who died here. It was so easy to sign up since nobody else wanted to come near here. Now that I said goodbye, I could finally move on. You can't leave. We need your help setting up the camp for tomorrow's grand opening. There's gonna be so many people coming. We need all the help we can get. Am I the only sane person here? People died here, and everyone wants to come here to dance? I'm sick of people profiting off the dead. Drome is the worst. You are the worst. I will not be a part of this. You came here to say goodbye to someone who died over a month ago? There are other places to do that, like a church, a graveyard, his parents' house. Ah, dudes! Told you I'd make you see stars. No, 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 my phone. Ah, my phone's broken. I can't use it anymore. I only came to this camp to take photos. Me being here is now pointless. Hey, wait up! Excuse me? My phone is broken. I don't need to be here anymore. So I'll ride back with you. It's the least you can do for breaking my phone. 
I'm sorry you were judging my reasons for being here when you were only here to take photos? <sighs> Fine, you could take a ride back with me. We gotta get one first. Gizzy was here and he threw his keys to Sam. We could use his car. Why was Gizzy here? Juicy, I feel like I'm part of the action now. This will get front news cover for sure. And about my recommendation to work in your office? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll happen tomorrow. Listen, I'll camp out here and continue taking shots for when you're all set up for the grand opening. Then we'll be the first ones to print the article. It's perfect. You should just get back to the others before they realize you're missing. You sure you'll be okay out here on your own? Of course! I'm Afmal, the best reporter of the U.S. Now, go, go, go. Hello? Hello? Oh, not funny! <laughs> that was so funny. Maybe I'm the Ross of the group. Practical Joker. Or maybe I'm the Digi of the group. Scott's definitely the Ticer of the group. Always on his phone. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, please, this is another joke. Silo, you can't scare me twice. Where even did you get fake blood? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Many people died here. Haha, -ha, so funny. Now, go back to sleep. We have a lot to do tomorrow. <laughs> funny. <laughs> So what's up with you? Who are you really? I told you, I'm a horror freak just like you. I'm just not the same as the rest of the group, that's all. I don't believe you. You keep saying freak when we're fanatics. Well, I'm sorry, but if your motive to come here is because you love horror, then maybe you are a freak. I knew it! You're not a horror fanatic. It was so obvious. You don't drive to be in horror movies like the rest of us. Excuse me? All my life I fantasized about being in a horror movie, becoming the final girl. What would I do in that moment, face to face with the killer? So I was right, you are a freak, and that's so dangerous. Leah, there are simulations for those, like escape rooms, horror games. They aren't the same! Miss San was first to experience a horror movie, and he was betrayed. He was so close to the end too. This time, I'll do it right. But there is no killer! Jason's dead! You know what? Fine. If you want to be in a horror movie, what would the final girl do right now? Hmm... Sitting here like bait isn't an option. She would make sure her friends were okay. She would run out alone in the woods, uncover the bodies, and outrun the killer to safety. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Okay! Bye, loser! I'm gonna go hang out with the boys. I'll show you what a final girl can do. I'm not afraid while I have this gun. You can't just take someone else's car. That's not okay. He's at the police station and his car will be towed before the grand opening anyways. We might as well use it to get out of here. So give me the keys. No, that'd be stealing. What's going on? These two want to steal Gizzy's car. Not steal. Just place somewhere else. We want to leave. We're done here. And the car will be towed tomorrow anyways. I only came here to take photos, and now my phone is broken. He came here to say goodbye to a friend. And Zylo, Leah, Sam, we all came to see the horror sights, and, well, we kind of did. So why don't we all leave? Where's Leah and Zylo? 
Ugh, she's crazy. She's convinced that she's in some horror movie and ran out to become the final girl. Zyla tried to play a prank on us with fake blood and we haven't seen him since. That sounds like both Leah and Zylo. Zylo loves to play pranks, and Leah thinks she's the queen bee of horror movies. If she was put in a horror movie, she's convinced she's the final girl. More like the blonde first to die. <laughs> don't tell her I said that. So are we leaving or not? Ash, you coming? You don't have a motive to be here. Unless you actually want to help. I uh, can't leave, unfortunately. I knew it! You have a reason to be here! Tell us! <sighs> Fine! My cousin is here undercover and I helped her sneak in. She's a reporter and she wanted to be the first print in the paper about the grand opening, knowing she'd get millions of clicks from it. She's all about business. <sighs> okay, I'll say it. She used you. She used you to get what she wants. No, she's family! All of our reasons for being here is not because we want to help the camp. Saber is gone and I haven't seen Jerome in a while either. We could just leave? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oppose? Nay. Eh, I kind of want to find Zylo and Leo before leaving. All right, how about me, Scott, and Tapple leave? Then Sam and Ash can go look for Leah and Zylo. No way. The horror fanatics should stick together. Caveman, you're coming with us. Tapple and Scott, I guess you can leave. But call us a taxi in an hour when you guys get a signal, okay? Deal. Ash, last chance. You want out? I should probably stay and make sure my cousin's okay. All right, let's go find Leah and Zylo. Ash, come with us so you aren't alone. Sure. Shotgun! Shit! I left my phone in the boys' cabin. One second. Hurry up! I got the phone! Let's go! Hello? Tapple? Where did you go? Why is Zylo's fake blood on the floor? Young man, that's Gizzy's car. Step away from it. We'll get it towed in the morning. Y you weren't planning on stealing it, were you? Uh, did you happen to see Harvey by any chance? He was just here, but then he went missing? I don't have time for this. Come on back inside the camp, now. I need to explore the area and make sure nobody snuck in while I was out. What do you mean? Did you get Gizzy to the police station? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Reporter, freeze! You're under arrest for trespassing. What's with the trespassers today? First Gizzy, and now you? I've seen you on the news. You've been so big about this case since day one. And now that the grand opening is tomorrow, you had to sneak in. Please, you've got it all wrong. I was, uh, wanting to help. Y yep. You think I'm that gullible? I mean, I may have my moments, but you're under arrest! I'll need to find Jerome and let him know another trespasser was here. Kid. Where's Jerome? I don't know. I haven't seen him for a while. Fine. I'll tell him later. Come on. You're going to the station. No, please! Ah! It's Jason! <gasps> Ugh! Another pranker! How many times do I have to arrest you before you get the message? Guys, don't worry. We've had so many prankers come in and pretend to be Jason so many times. Alright, I'm arresting you for trespassing. <laughs> what? No, you're... you're real? Saber, use your gun! I wasn't given one! Why not? Jerome never gave me one. I guess he was trying to save money. <laughs> Kid, now's our chance! Run! He isn't chasing after us? What is he doing with the body? I'm not sure. So, Jason is alive? I was not expecting that. 
report must have been wrong. Jason's alive. What do we do? Do we escape? Do we warn the others? I'm so scared. We have to take photos of him. I'm sorry, what? He just killed the guard. Saber is dead. Others may be too. My friend may be dead as well. That's why he wasn't in the car. Oh, we have to leave. I'm a news reporter and I need photo proof that Jason is alive. You mean you want your business to succeed? You used your cousin to get here. So, Ash told you about me. <laughs> Listen, we can argue about this later when we need to... The, the body is gone. I should have taken his car keys from his pocket. Now we don't have access to any of the vehicles. I parked my car a little further down the road to sneak in. We could use it after we take the photos. Come on, kid. Don't you want to take some? You know, I really do. I live for it. Fine. Let's just be smart about it though. Once we get the photos, we get in your car and leave. Shelby, we're here. We did it. We're back. It took a hot minute, but I hope everyone's okay. Oh, Saber's here. Officer Saber here. We gotta be careful. We don't want him to like uh, arrest us again when we're trying to save everyone. Gizzy, look! The blood! <gasps> no! We're too late. People have already started dying. We gotta find them and make sure everyone else is still alive and they're okay. I guess maybe they now realize that Jason's alive and they're hiding somewhere. We have to be careful though, because what if Jason comes after us next? You're right, we gotta be careful, we gotta be smart. Um, how about we don't take the main path? How about we just kinda go through the woods? That's a good idea. Look, Gizzy, this is all my fault. None of this is your fault, you're not a killer here. But if I didn't get my report wrong, then people wouldn't be at this camp dying right now. No, 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 you got this all wrong, Shelby. It's not your fault, please, trust me, it's not your fault. We're gonna stop this, okay? This is why you're here, to help out, okay? None of this is your fault. You're just a doctor doing your job and you thought your job was correct. Uh, you didn't know the full facts. You know, maybe someone got it wrong that led you that wrong information. That kinda makes me feel better, but we need to stop him before anyone else dies. Oh, wait, I think I see someone. Wait, hide, hide, I think I see, is that someone pink? Wait, what? Uh, do you know who that is? Super Pink, right? I have no idea who that was. Why is she going into the woods alone? Was she holding a gun? I- oh, I didn't- I didn't notice. I think they were. I- We should definitely follow them. Definitely- someone's alive, so we should check on them. I have no idea who that was. Uh, definitely looks like a Roblox YouTuber, uh, who likes to cameo in the Minecraft stuff, because, uh, she must be super cool. But, listen, we gotta make sure that she's okay. I don't know where she's going. I don't even know what's up here. But she's a survivor, so we should check on her. We definitely know someone's dead. There's blood on the floor. Wait, 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 wait. That's by my car. Was someone trying to take my car and escape? This is why I gave them the keys. Maybe they tried to escape. Ugh. Okay, let's let's check on them. Hello, Mr. Pink Fluff Goofball Ma'am. We're gonna hurt to save you. Jason! You're alive! And you killed these people! I wouldn't say they were friends, at least. Well, maybe Zylo, but he was annoying, so you did me a favor. I've done a lot of research on this place, and on you. Bullets won't kill you. You went through so much pain in your life. You grew up alone and lost in these woods. You turn this camp into your home. You don't know how to react around people because the only people in your life were the ones that hurt you. But not me, Jason. Is she trying to relate with Jason? I know you wanted a female accomplice and I can be that accomplice. I will help you, Jason. Loser, loser, loser. <laughs> I will not work for you, loser. Don't understand. It was an accident, I, I promise. What? You suddenly don't want an accomplice when one literally offers herself to you. And you're not even going to kill me? I'm the final girl. I will fight you and win. If you don't want me, then you'll die. What 
did she? She, she, did you just see that, Shelby? She pulled a gun on Jason and asked to be his accomplice? Well, okay, so before, I don't know if you remember the full report. Did that person that you said was Jason, who was actually Kay, uh, she was forced to be Jason's accomplice because she want he, well, he wanted an accomplice and forced her. Well, I guess this person found out and kind of wanted to be an accomplice with Jason. She must be crazy. But wait, the gun. That's Lizzie's gun. Lizzie, the police officer. She was a police officer. I guess they never found the gun and she found the gun and took it. I'm going to just take this gun. Just give me the corpse. Just push the gun off the hand. Come on. This is so gross. Come on. Drop the gun! Oh, come on! I don't want to- Oh, thank god. Oh, that was so gross. I just got- Oh no, all these people are dead! Saber! Officer Saber! Well, at least we don't have to worry about him arresting us, but... I... I'm so sorry. You did not deserve to be in this mess. It's all my fault. Shelby, no. We're gonna fix this. How do we fix this? Wait, okay, so bullets can't stop Jason. But water doesn't seem to stop Jason either. I thought water was his weakness, but we drowned Jason. But he survived. He was terrified of water when he was a kid. So we thought that was his weakness, but maybe not. Maybe it's something else. Well, what if we destroy the camp? I completely messed up and it's all my fault. But I'm not ready to lose my job. If we destroy the evidence, there's no proof I was responsible for getting it wrong. We stop Jason and destroy the camp at the same time. I could go to jail for malpractice. Is this why you're here? Is this secretly why you're here? You don't feel responsible. You're just trying to cover your tracks. No. Well, technically both. I really want to stop Jason, and I do feel responsible for him being free. But we can destroy him and the camp, and I won't lose my job. Everybody wins. What do you say? Hmm. Well, we have five people dead already. Maybe more. We should try to find the others, and... Because I remember there was more people. Maybe they're hiding. Maybe they're still alive. I don't know. Uh, but let's go find them. Let's tell them the plan. Let's see what they think. And let's stop Jason. Okay. Let's go. Silo? Oh, this is useless. This was the famous abandoned cabin Jason used to hide his bodies! <laughs> hey, there are no bodies in here. You know what that means? That Jason is hiding his victim somewhere else? I was going to say that Jason is confirmed dead, but maybe. Hey, so I had a really weird conversation with Leah. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it was her idea to start the horror fanatic group. Sure was. She's cool, right? We'd even roleplay sometimes to pretend we're in a horror movie and she'd always be the final survivor. She always made me the killer. I hated it. Right. And she's the one who signed you all up to come to this camp. Yep, yeah, my mom said it'd be a good idea to engage and make friends though, instead of playing in my room, <laughs> Animal Crossing all day. Listen to me, Leah's crazy. She just told me she wants to be the final girl and she's convinced she's in a horror movie. She's just role playing. I don't think so. It was much darker than that. I'm just happy to have finally made some friends. Ah! Jason! It's probably just Zylo playing tricks on us again. Zylo, we know it's you. Take off your mask. How did you even find that? Oh, it smells. Wait, I remember Aphmau showed the reports from Digi about Jason having a smell. Uh, Sam, get, get back here! He's real! What are you talking about? Trust me, that's him. The reporters must have been wrong. We gotta get out of here. What? But I'm too scared. I can't. I've always roleplayed as the killer in this situation. Never the survivor. I don't know what to do. We need to get out of here! Caveman, help me with the window! Sam, keep holding the door! How am I supposed to get out of the window if I'm blocking the door? Uh, we'll distract them! When we were old blade, someone would always sacrifice themselves to the killer to help the others! I guess I'll be that guy today. I'll help you, Sam! Hey, Jason! Over here, we all escaped. Come get us. Yeah, hurry now before we get to the vehicles. Oh, 
What is he doing? Hey, Jason, over here! What? No, 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 no. You guys said you'd save me. Help! <coughs> no! Jason, no! He was my friend! <laughs> I guess Jason's pretty smart. Let's go. You're alive! Where's everyone else? Oh my gosh, I have been waiting so long to do an interview with you. Uh, this is kind of not the time. You know, people are dying, Jason's here, and I just do not have the time for this. I've been trying to avoid you for the past month. Please, can we just stay on track? Shelby and I have came up with a plan about destroying this camp. We're gonna use fire, and we're going to destroy this entire camp so nobody else can come back here and try to get Jason trapped inside a cabin as well. We need the car, so I'm totally down to destroy my car to stop Jason. That's, uh, that's, yeah. And I saw Saber's police car was back, so why don't you guys, uh, we need the car keys. Tapple had the keys for your car, and Saber had the keys for his car. I don't know where their bodies are, though. Well, their bodies are in the woods, back there, so maybe you guys have to go back and get the car keys, and then we'll meet you at the cars. So, how about you guys, uh, how about you, and uh, Shelby, why don't you go with them? And then, uh, why don't us three get firewood? Jess, do you have a car? Did you come here in a car? Could we use that to explode as well to stop Jason? What? No, you can't use my car after turning down an interview with me. Uh, but we need the car to destroy the camp. Look, Jason could be on his way here right this second. We're out of the open. And I want this interview. Well, are you going to help us or not? <sighs> Fine. You can use my car. Okay, uh, Ash, why don't you take Jess's car? Uh, where did you park it? Where is it? I didn't see it parked. I parked it down the street a little, but I want that interview before I help. <sighs> okay, fine. Shelby, Scott, Caveman, why don't you guys go get uh, my car and the police car? So go get the keys. Ash, why don't you get Afmel's car? Ashmel, why don't we do the interview real quick and then we're gonna get firewood to like start fires. How's that sound? Yes! I am so happy to hear that. Yeah, I can't wait. It's so, so good right now. Okay, let's let's split up. So, uh, Shelby, Scott, Caveman, go that way. Ash, go that way. Aphmau, I guess we'll go in this cabin for now. Let's be quick, though. Good luck! So, Gizzy, why did you come to this camp? Well, I we found out that Jason was alive, and we wanted to stop him before anyone else died, and... We are too late, but it seems like we have an idea to stop him once and for all, at least, so. Oh, that's very interesting. So you do feel guilty for letting your friends die? Guilty? No, I try my best to save them. You gotta- Oh! J Jason! It's- Did you- Did you see that? Jason's- Jason's alive! Jason's here! Jason's- We gotta go! We gotta go right now! Not until we finish this interview. What are you, crazy? We- Jason's literally outside! He can kill us right now! Don't try to end this. This is big for me. I need this interview for my ratings, and I won't let your imagination ruin this for me. Im- Im- Carry on, quick, quickly, quickly, come Let's on, next question. Let's see, next question. Don't rush me. Come on. Scroll! Come on, there's a killer here! There's so many questions I have to ask you, though. Ah! Ha! Ah, this one will do. What did the families think after your decision for letting your friends die? No, that's... I didn't... Oh my god, I can't answer these questions. I can't... These are not appropriate questions that I don't feel comfortable at answering. I tried my best to save them. And that we didn't even know Jason was a thing. We were told that he died 40 years ago. Like, none of this is my fault. I tried my best to save... Oh, he's back! He's back behind you! He's here! Behind you! He's here! He's here! We're done. Let's get out of here. Come on. Like, let's just get out of here. We can have some pancakes. Wouldn't pancakes be so good right now? Oh my god. We should definitely- Oh! Oh! He's in behind you! Behind you! He's literally right behind you with a knife. Fine. I'll- <gasps> Jess, get back. Get back, Jess. Get back. No! This will be the perfect shot for my interview. A photo of Jason. What? Let me just get a good angle real quick and- Yeah, that's the good stuff. Can you turn your head a little? Jason! Listen, I know you just want me, okay? You don't have to kill anyone else, okay? It's just you and me. It's me, remember? I survived. I was the survivor, and it's just you and me. You killed Digi. I know you killed Digi. You were on the phone. I told you to come here. And look, you just kill all these innocent people, but you want me. So stop killing all these people and kill me. Come after me, okay? 
Just let them be. Just let, just, it's me you want. No one has, has to die. I can't believe I'm in the middle of this hero and villain confrontation. Hey, this will do so well online. Let me try to get a little selfie with Jason real quick. There we go. That's my chance. Uh, can yeah. you look up a little bit, Jason? Uh, hey, where are you going? Oh my god, I can't represent. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta get out of here. I'll die, I can't die. Jess, come on, Jess, come on! Gizzy, you can't just run away from an interview like that! Holy oh, man, the picture is blurry! Can we get another one, Jason? I could drive away and become the final girl and let everyone else die. Oh, do they need all the vehicles for the plan to work? Of course not, but I, I can't just let them die, can I? Oh, no, I need to go back for Aphmel at least. Oh, I am crazy going back to this camp. Here, this was where he hid the bodies. No! I can't believe he killed all these people already. He killed Sam too, but I guess he didn't have time to move the body? Let's just get the keys and get out of here. Tapple had Gizzy's keys. This is so gross. Got them. Caveman, you drive. I got the police car keys. Let's get to the cars and drive them into the camp. I wanted to be Instagram famous. Ah! Caveman, run! Shelby, go over the plan again. We're going to cause a chain reaction. We need to set alight some of the cabins, and the flames will ignite these vehicles, causing a massive explosion that'll wipe out most of the campground, with Jason inside. Great! Let's go find Aphmau and get this rolling! I... I'm sorry, she... she didn't make it. What?! No, it, it's Aphmau! She's... she's amazing! She can survive anything! What happened?! We don't have time for this! Jason is on his way over here right now! Someone will need to lure Jason over here. I should be the one. No, I'll do it. He wants me. You guys go to the campfire, get the firewood, and begin setting alight the cabins. I have to face him head on. Gizzy, this was my fault. I got the report wrong. If I didn't get it wrong, nobody would be here. This camp wouldn't reopen. Gizzy, please, I need to redeem myself. More people have died due to my failure as a doctor. You know the layout of the campground the best, Gizzy. We could use your help. Okay, fine. Shelby, please be careful. Remember, we want him past the cars. Hey! You want to know why people are in this camp? Back in your home. It was my fault. I told everyone you were dead. That's right. I messed up. It's my fault you killed these people. So come after me, you loser! Oh yeah, we're sort of burning your home down. No, wait! Ah! Ah! He's coming! Get to the window and get ready to climb out. The cars will explode any minute now. We need to be quick! The fire from the other cabins are spreading! We won't have time before it gets here! Yes, we will. Wait. Wait. He's gone! Ah, he tricked us! I told you he's smart! 
Hey, Finn! Quick! Out through the door! Ah! The, the fire! We're trapped! Ah! Ah! We need to be quick, or the car will explode with us trapped inside! The cabin's on fire! We can't get out! What is he doing? He just stepped inside while the cabin was on fire! Why? He wants to be the one to kill me. You guys get through the window, now! Caveman, let me help you! Come on, Jason, kill me. You know you want to. Uh, the window. Oh, it's blocked. Ugh. I must be able to help in some way. Caveman, come on, quick. I need to see if he's dead. He needs to be dead this time. Kizzy, no, it's too dangerous. No one could survive that. Caveman, he sacrificed himself for us. And I didn't even want to come back here. I'm the final girl again. Ugh. Wait, I'm the final girl? I don't know how to feel about any of this. I, I lost my cousin in the process. The first bus for the grand opening has arrived. It's over. The camp's been destroyed. Driver, take us home. 